Okay, so the new beam is in there. This is the new passenger side. It was uh, not so difficult to install. There's these indents here, one there, and there's one here. And there, on the new one, it's on both sides. On my old one, it's only on one side. I don't think it really matters. This thing needs to point this way, and so the indents need to be on the other side. So anyway, on the back side, there's two indents like there, and they bump in. The top one keeps the beam um, from, I guess the beam from go, it, it bumps against this brace and the bottom one bumps against, the, well, they're both bump against this brace and then this brace here. The bottom one lifts, let me think about this. Now the top one lifts it. The bottom one, I guess they both lift. I don't know, the bottom one lifts and the top one keeps it in place. But these bolts don't really do anything as the, the end measure of this. They just, they don't have any stress on this bolt. It's just to keep it from coming out. These little indents are what holds the entire load uh, on the back side and you can see I just reversed I found a carriage bolt and just reversed it so the, the nut is now on this side instead of like this one the nuts on this side which is the way the bottom one was and that's why I had to cut it so I just put the nut on the other side uh, those aren't really doing anything except keeping it from popping out so just holding it in place and the load again is on the indents of this mounted through the frame and onto these positions so it's in it's actually supporting the weight now um, so we're, we're rocking really easy. <laughs> it should have been easier than it was, but, uh, it's still not that hard. So the next step is to mount all the head assembly so that it matches this. I'll have two motors, two switches. Um, and then there'll, there'll be a, still a backup with these because of the design. And there's this part here. I can run my bar all the way across and connect either side. And uh, if I have an outage, um, I suppose I could pull the motors off. I don't know if it's even necessary. Uh, when you have an outage, you could probably just put the bar in there and run either motor and they would jack them all the way up one way or the other with the motor in place. Uh, it does look like that's the design um, for, these, for these guys. Um, because there's actually a manual override on this gear set on the back here, and I'll show you that. This is the, yeah, you know, it's kind of hard to describe, but this, this part, this part uh, is a manual override here. So you can hook a, a tool to this in the event that your motor fails, and you can, you can jack this up manually using the gear set. So it looks like these motors are designed uh, to, to, to stay in place and be manually overwritten. So, um, pretty close, a lot of wiring left next. And, um, and the switches obviously, but uh, it's in place. It's holding the weight, holding the load. Uh, swapping it out wasn't really that difficult. Um, so, yeah.